All right, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different than what we normally do. I have uh, some boards showing up tomorrow from uh, Osh Park, and um, the uh, project that I'm going to be building is a programmer for the Z273 Midland EEPROM module out of uh, Midland uh, two-way radios. And uh, the project is based around the uh, Atmega 328 chip, uh, which is commonly used in the Arduino. I have three of those chips that were provided to me uh, by uh, Atmel uh, several years ago. Uh, so, of course, there is no Arduino bootloader on them. And uh, I don't have the uh, proper device to uh, program the bootloader into the uh, Atmega328 chip. But what I do have is two Arduinos and uh, you can configure an Arduino to be a bootloader uh, uploading device basically a programmer for the chip. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove the Atmega chip from this board and install one of the chips that does not have a bootloader on it if I can get it to cooperate. That chip is uh, pressed in very well. We may have to get creative on that one. We'll see. probably be using a uh, chip puller for this. If I knew where they were, I would get them out. But I don't. There we go. So we have that device out. I'm going to put it into an anti-static storage tube. And we'll go ahead and get out uh, one of the devices that was shipped to us by Atmel. Very good. I'll set that there. And we're going to make sure that we align to the notch on both the chip and the socket. There we go. And then, uh, let's see, I have a, a, a diagram here. It shows me what goes uh, where between the, the host Arduino and the Arduino to be programmed. So we're going to go ahead and hook up uh, according to that. So we're going to go ahead and plug the uh, programmer into the uh, PC. And we'll bring up the Arduino IDE. Now we want to make sure, for examples, uh, we go to number 11, Arduino ISP, load that sketch. We want to make sure that uh, our port is set correctly, so we're setting to, uh, in this case, port 5. I'm going to go ahead and upload the sketch. Alright, it's uploaded. And then make sure programmer is set for Arduino as ISP, and then click Burn Bootloader. And you'll see a lot of lights flashing there. Done burning bootloader. So let's go ahead and disconnect. And we'll disconnect 
All of our connections there. Plug into that Arduino. Switch over to our blank sketch. Make sure we're on the right uh, port. We'll go ahead and upload. And we're blinking. So we have successfully uploaded the uh, bootloader into this uh, Atmega328 chip. And now we'll be able to use it in the uh, Midland Programmer project once we get started building that. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, pretty short. And uh, if you liked uh, the video, uh, hit like. Uh, go ahead, share, and subscribe. And uh, appreciate you viewing. Have a great day.